In this problem, we're being asked to look at some relations and decide whether or not they're functions. And a function is a special kind of relation, um, and it has this property, this, this rule. In, in a function, each x value can only have one y value. If it has two different y values or more than two different y values, then it's not a function. So you put in, let's say, a negative 3 for x, you get out a negative 3 for y, like we do right here, and there's no other value you could get out for a negative 3. And I'm, I'm looking through here, I'm not seeing any other negative 3s for x with different y values, so that's good. Um, to determine if something is a function, what I really want to do is look for um, doubles of the same value in the x that have different values in the y. And ooh, look here, we've got 5 for x here and 5 for x here. And on this first one, it gives a y value of 5. And on the second one, it gives a y value of negative 3. So this is a problem. We've got one x value, the, the 5, with two different y values. So that is not a function. Let's look at relation 2 here. We've got f and z, m and z. Now that's fine. Those are two different x values. Uh, so they can have the same y value. What I really want to look for is doubles on the x. Ooh, and here we go, m, m, m going to three different values for y. So the same x value, m, has three different values for y. That is not a function. Another way to represent a relation is with these kinds of diagrams. So you've got uh, lines, arrows pointing. So in this case, if you put in negative 5 for x, what you get out is an n in that particular function. Um, the the problem if if you are going to see that something is not a function what you want to see is that the one x value goes to two or more different things so you're going to see multiple branches coming off the same thing so if you look at this one negative three it goes to s and it goes to t so it's got two different y values uh, for the for the negative three x value and the same is true for negative one um, so this is definitely not a function now this one We've got only one arrow coming off of each x value here. Uh, they double up on the on the y values, but that's okay. As long as each x value just has one y value, then that would be a function. So this one is a function. So that's a little bit of work in uh, how to tell whether a relation is a function or not.